Hey guys, NightUps here. We're back with an infection free zone video. So this video is going to be talking about the recent updates, changes, and hotfixes after the release of infection free zone. But I'd first like to thank everybody for all the support on these videos that I've been doing and the turnout on the live streams have been crazy here lately. The information we're going to be going over today is from their discord and from the steam page. So the first thing we're going over is the bug fixes. Uh, they keep investigating issues with some maps crashing when players try to load them. Uh, if you were in the live stream the other day, uh, you would have actually seen that some of the places that we try to load into would just crash on the loading screen. Uh, so it does look like they are like trying to keep track of these and looking more into it to see what areas and POIs are crashing people's games and getting those fixed. The next bit of information we're going to be going over is it looks like there were some issues with Chinese fonts getting bigger every time settings are changed, so it looks like they did fix that. Uh, there was an issue that prevented vehicles from entering expeditions, so it looks like they did also fix that. I know I had some of you guys commenting on some of the videos and messaging me about these issues uh, with the expedition, so it looks like they did fix it. Uh, the issue that made transmission log display the events in non-chronological order has been fixed. Uh, they added new POI icons. The amount of warehouse building HP has been increased. So if you've seen before, all warehouses had 1,000 HP, no matter what. So it looks like they did increase that. And it looks like they had a number of other small changes that they had fixed. This next bit of information is going to be a warm welcome to a lot of you. Uh, immigrants come more often. Your invites are answered even more often. Uh, there are fewer hordes and swarms on easy. Uh, buildings are constructed and deconstructed faster, which is so nice, and more resources can be found. It looks like they did do more, but they just, you know, didn't let it known in these notes. This is from their Discord. But these changes are currently on the experimental branch of the game. I will show a video here in a second that kind of shows you, if you don't know already, how to opt into the experimental branch. I do have to leave a word of warning here that this is experimental, so it hasn't been added to the stable version, but if you do want the most up-to-date version of the game, you would go about doing it this way. So to opt into the newest version of Infection Free Zone, you would go to your library where you have Infection Free Zone. You would right-click it, head down to Properties, a new little window will open up here. You'll go down to Betas. You'll see a little drop-down where it says Beta Participation. You'll click this and you will click open beta. So this will update you to the newest test version of the game. So there might be bugs in this version of the game, but this is the technically the newest version where they will push uh, game updates to before it gets pushed to the normal version or what's considered the stable version of the game. I would just like to thank you guys if you made it this far in the video. It honestly means a lot to me that, you know, you are watching my videos. Uh, if you aren't already subscribed, maybe consider subscribing uh, if this did help you. Or, you know, if you just like my content, if you like me, it honestly means a lot to me. Do uh, you have any, you know, ideas for me or for the channel? Uh, you know, just let me know in the comments. I try to reply to every comment that I do get on here on the channel. Uh, and, you know, I do have an active Discord community if you do want to join that. Uh, the Discord link should be in the description of my YouTube channel. Thank you so much again, guys.